scale of the man. <laughs> since my very little effort was well appreciated by you people. Who am I to say no? <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, Prince Uzadema. Yes. The next thing in the line is preparation for your coronation as the next king of Obama and your kingdom. So, I want to encourage you to do everything within your powers to ensure that all the necessary arrangements for that day is put in place. There is no problem. You know that is not true. Since you came back from the meeting you had with your brother and your uncle, you've been very moody. What is troubling you? So by that, you are suggesting that I'm lying. I just want to know what is troubling my husband. Um, was Uncle Dimba angry that I didn't attend the meeting? Well, not really. Oh, okay. But um, he expressed concern at the end of the meeting that you did not attend the meeting. So what really happened? Why didn't you attend the meeting? I forgot. And there was serious traffic on the road and that affected my movement. If not, I would have been back greeting. It's all right. It's all right. I will advise you to find a time to see Uncle Udemba and explain everything to him, okay? Okay, I will do that. Find a time as well to speak with um, Prince Udemba. Okay, right. I will talk to him. It's okay. Thank you very much for everything. I appreciate it. Okay. Your brother just slumped. He just slumped. Come, please. What, what happened? Come. I don't know. He just slumped. Come. What do you mean by he slumped? Just slumped. Just slumped. Let's go. Doctor, I don't know. But his wife is here. She can explain better. Doctor, I noticed he was very moody when he came back after having a meeting with his uncle. I tried asking him what the problem was. He said nothing. I still persuaded. He said there was no problem. Then I went to the bathroom to ease myself. And coming out, I, I saw him slump. So we brought him to the hospital. It's okay. When he slumps, did he fall to the ground? No, no, no. I was fast enough to get him before he got to the floor. Doctor, what could possibly be the problem? Honestly, I don't really know. But all I can tell you from now is that his blood pressure is on a very high side. But we've been able to administer some drugs of him. Our advice will wait patiently for the results of the test we carried out on him to come. Then we will be able to know exactly what is wrong with him. Oh, doctor, is he going to be fine? He will definitely be fine. You don't need to worry yourself. Okay? Doctor, no, doctor, please, can we at least see him? I want to see my husband. I'm sure you can see him, but not immediately. I will advise you give him some time because he needs to rest. Come oh, on, don't panic. He will be fine. The best thing we could did for him was to bring him when you brought him. Yes. It's okay, Doctor. Thank you. So don't worry. Thank you. My 
husband? What is the problem? Why are you still awake? I wish I can find sleep. What is the problem? What is it that has taken sleep away from your eyes? The prince and the throne. How do you mean? I just buried my older brother, the king of Obama in your kingdom. And the heir apparent of the throne just slumped today and was rushed to the hospital. He is there lying critically ill. Honestly, I am worried. Is that why you have decided to deprive yourself of your precious sleep? <laughs> eh? Of what use is sleep to me? Tell me, why will I sleep when the next king of our kingdom is lying critically ill in the hospital? Just tell me, why will I sleep when the king chief of this kingdom is threatened by, by something inexplicable, something I cannot explain? Tell me, at, at this point in my life, I don't need sleep. You need sleep. My husband, you need sleep. I mean, there's nothing you can do. Are you the doctor? Are you God? What do you have to do here? Just commit everything into the hands of God. That's all. How is he doing this morning? He's fine. Did you say fine? Yes. How can he be fine when he's lying on the bed? He actually woke up last night after you left. He spent some time with us last night before he went back to bed. He was the first person to wake up this morning. He slept off some minutes ago because of the drugs and injection I didn't miss that to him. Are you for real? Mm -hmm. oh, this is good news. At least our blue Demba will be a bit relieved. I had he couldn't sleep last night, asking the gods to preserve the crown prince. Indeed, the gods really are sad. Without wasting time, let me go straight to the reason I invited you here. I'm all ears, go ahead. Good. Jividemba, now that we have successfully buried our king, every rite and ritual performed accurately in accordance with the traditions of our land, I want to ask you, is the crown prince, Prince Zodemba, ready to commence the ritual process that will see him emerge as the new king of our kingdom? Oh no. Udemba. Before I will answer you that question, let me get something clear. Go ahead. Did you invite me here in your capacity as the honorable traditional prime minister or as a concerned individual? Well, Udemba, whichever. The thing is that I did not invite you here just in my capacity as the Prime Minister of this Kingdom. Uh, but I invited you here as 
do you know the prime minister also as a very close friend to the royal household and of course as a concerned citizen mm. Mm. Oh, no. <clears throat> Udamba. The crown prince needs our prayers. Yes, he needs our prayers very urgently for the gods to see him through. No, no, I, I don't understand. That the crown prince needs our prayers very urgently for the gods to see him through. What, what, um, what will the gods be seeing him through for? I don't understand, yes. The words have ears. Oh, yes, I know. So let me whisper to you. Crown Prince is sick. He slumped yesterday and we rushed him to hospital. As I speak with you, he is in the hospital. But, but, but I... I saw the prince yesterday when I went to the palace. Uh, she wouldn't buy you sure of what you are saying. Oh no. I am a true son of my father. I know the implications of war to speak ill against the king or the crown prince. So take it to the back. The crown prince is sick. Prince Uzodema, honestly speaking, I will describe what happened to you as a very mysterious illness. In my entire career as a medical doctor, I don't think I have ever come across such a case before. The level of your blood pressure when you were brought in here yesterday was really something else. But, Doctor, you made us believe that it wasn't something serious. <laughs> yes. And that was simply because I didn't want to create fear amongst your people. But trust me when I say he's fine. My Prince, you are very fine and you are free to go home if you want to. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Tony. Uh, you have done well. Thank you for going above and beyond to help me get back on my feet. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. I want to say thank you to everyone here, especially my wife and my sister. I wish you show up every day and doing their best to ensure that I'm fine, I'm, I'm happy. Can just wait to get back home. Uh, my Prince, you, you don't need to thank us. We did what we were supposed to do as a family. Thank you. Of course. They are wonderful people and we truly love you. Thank you. I wish you all the best. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> Mike, you must perform your conjugal duty on me as your wife. What kind of wickedness is this? Eh? It's been one month ever since we got married and you haven't touched me. What is going on? There is nothing going on. Huh? I will do it whenever I decide. After all, marriage is not all about sex. What did you just say? You must make love to me tonight. Sonia, you lie. That cannot happen. Not after you humiliated my secretary for me today. Sonia, you disgraced me. Mm. Be prepared to see the worst disgrace until you stop messing around with all the prostitutes in this town. Who did you just call a prostitute? You opened that gutter of the mouth to call my secretary a prostitute. So, so have sex in this house. Eh? 
you lie. A very big lie because I'm having it tonight. You're giving it to me. Baba, what is this? No, 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 Prince Uzo Dimuman, I want to thank the gods for sparing your life and bringing you back in peace. <clears throat> Three days ago, before you were rushed to the hospital, we had a meeting here. And on that very meeting, I told you to prepare yourself to accept the throne of our forefathers as the next king of Obama and Yogo kingdom. So I want to ask you now, how prepared are you? Uncle, I... I'm not sure you're going to like this, but the truth is that I'm not prepared for now. What do you mean that you are not prepared for now? Listen, Uncle, uh, let me just get straight to it. Uncle, I do not want to become king. Ha! Ah! I'm not interested. What did I just hear you say? My friends. Yes. You're joking, right? You don't joke with something as important as the throne of this kingdom. I'm not joking. Eh? Uncle, I do not want to become king. I'm really not interested. So what are you doing if you're not joking? <laughs> uh, let me pretend I did not hear you say this. But Prince Uzo, the man, prepare yourself for the rites and rituals that will see you become the next king of Obama and Yogo kingdom. Period. <laughs> Kenneth. Sonia is now a thorn on my flesh. That lady is too strong to be a wife for crying out loud. Huh? I really wish I knew getting married to her would have given me this level of pain. I wouldn't have done that. I swear, I wouldn't. What is her problem this time? She keeps on accusing me of having extramarital affairs. Mike, you know me too well now. I love my wife to hurt her. Do I have any other woman apart from Sonia? Well, to the best of my knowledge, no. You see? I really wish, I really wish you can help me talk to her. Make her to understand that I do not do the things that she thinks that I'm doing. Mike, why don't you give your wife the attention she I, I really wish I can, but I cannot. I cannot do that because I'm a very busy man. I don't want to be poor, okay? I do not want my family to, to pass through the things that I faced in the past. See, my brother, that God changed your story and lifted you from grass to grace should tell you that he will never allow you to go down again. Amen. And more to that, you know the money I, I told you about. Don't forget it. <laughs> Ken. You know I need to sort some things out. Well, it's not an issue. It's not an issue. When we get to our destination, we'll make the transfer for you. Yeah, but still think about your wife, the ascension. It's very important. Come on. Ken, you know this thing is not possible. Okay, they are oh, this is it possible, eh? I'm, I'm not on your move, but this is possible like that. It's not what you think. Why would you say such a thing to them? Why would you open your mouth to tell your younger brother and your uncle that you are not interested in your left father's throne? Why can I not say that? Is it by force to become king of this land? Prince Zodi, your late parents, especially your father, who is so ashamed of you right now in his way. If you say that to me again, I'm going to slap you. Are you out of your what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Snap me! But that will not stop me from telling you the truth! What truth? What truth do you want to tell me? What truth do you know? What do you think you're talking about? Huh? That you are not supposed to tell them what you told them! Really? Yes! So you think I woke up and suddenly decided not to be king? without a tangible reason. Okay. I'm listening. Tell me. It is too late. That is the first thing you should have done when you walked in here. Huh? 
But you get up and get out. I want to be alone. Out now. Move. Don't make me apply force, Nora. like I'm living. Has your husband told you what he said to Uncle Udemba and Prince Onyeka earlier today? I'm aware. And honestly, I don't think my husband knows what he's doing. What do you mean by that? Can you believe that your brother almost slapped me just because I told him that your late father would be so ashamed of him for taking such a decision? Would you believe that? Prince Zodima is absolutely disgrace all of us. This is serious. Has it gotten to that extent? <sighs> hey, hey! How could he say such a thing? Prince Uzodima wants to drag the family name to the mud. Too bad I didn't see it coming. This is unbelievable. Highly unbelievable. Are the elders aware of this? Not yet, but they will soon know. My husband, they don't need to know yet. Let's see if the prince will change his mind and accept the kingship. What if he doesn't change his mind? What do we do? This is no good news at all. It's not any good news. So Prince Sodema wants the kingship of this family to, 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 to be taken away from us. No way. It cannot happen. I said no way. Not while I'm alive. Listen, Prince Sodema must take up the responsibility. It is his responsibility. He must fill in that gap. It's there for the welfare of the people. Oh, tradition is tradition. For the nana banyo, if a jimalan you know, if you know menana, yeah, oh menana gadigi day, oh gadigi. Princess Odima, we want to have a word with you. I hope all is well. All is not well. And you know it. I see. Uh, what is the problem, Oneka? We want to know why you have refused to become the king of this great kingdom as demands by the tradition. Uh, let me ask you, Oneka Chuku. Do I not have the right to either reject or accept becoming the next king. I ask because I'd really like to know what is wrong with you. Do you all want to force me to become king against my wish? We are not trying to force you to become the king. But it is very wrong of you to reject the throne of your forefathers. My prince, our father, the late king, will not be happy with you for rejecting the throne. <laughs> well, I have made my decision and it is final. I'd like to be left alone. Left alone. To be doing what? To keep drinking? Listen and listen real good, Prince Uzodima. The kingship of this kingdom will not leave this royal family. You are the next king and that you must become. I see. You are going to force me to become king. I will do everything and anything within my power to make sure 
she done radical in the name of this royal family. All right, Tonyaka, that's enough. Please leave this place while it's my time. And what will you do if I don't leave your brother? Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Prince, what is the meaning of this? Keep quiet, else I'm going to do worst. This is not right. Honestly, I don't expect you to do this. I am going to deal with you if you keep talking. Prince, what's the man? I will leave because of the respect I have for you as my older brother. And because you are the crown prince of this kingdom. But because I am scared of you. What game you are going to leave this place because you are scared of me? You are going to leave this place, but can I even make make it calculate? Yeah! Now I can not say saying that you would not like it. I have one man cabal. I have one man cabal. I think I have one man cabal. I think I have one man cabal. I think I have one man cabal. Support the tradition of our people. Oh, Anya Gapo Mena, O Mena Nabanio, Mebezio Menenuai. Our tradition is. I poured a drink on him because he spoke to me, really. That's what happened. <laughs> I went to see him with Adora to ask him why he refused to pick up the kingship as demanded by the tradition. He refused to do so. <sighs> Rather, he asked us to leave his presence. In attempt to make any other statement, he poured me the one he was drinking. Now, listen, all of you. This nonsense has to stop. I don't want a repeat of what happened today. You people must live in peace. Um, Prince Uzodimma, the rites and rituals that will see you become the king of Obama's young kingdom comes up in two days' time. How ready and prepared are you? I'm not prepared. I'm not ready, Uncle. I thought I made myself very clear. I already made my stand on this matter, but I don't know, why are we going in circles here? Will you shut up? Don't tell me to shut up, uncle. I don't want to be king. Listen, I know what I want and what I do not want. And what I do not want right now is to be your next king. Please. Get your hands off me. Who asked you to speak? Keep quiet. She's your wife. A full member of this family. I'm going to ask you to get out of this place right now. Do you hear me? Prince Uzodimma, are you alright? Uncle, Uncle, uh, what uh, you uh, are doing to uh, Uncle, I am very alright. Please. I am very okay. And what I am doing is trying very hard not to allow you get me into the fetish and devilish things that you people do Hi. all in the name of kingship. I am a Christian. I cannot be your king. Period. Our tradition is sacred and harmless. It's there for the welfare of the people. Oh, tradition is tradition. Walking out on your entire family is totally wrong and unacceptable. I didn't ask you your opinion now. Did I? You do not need to ask for my opinion before I tell you the truth. I am your wife. It is my responsibility to tell you the truth always. I don't need your truth. Keep your truth to yourself. I don't need it. Please. Princess Odim, your late father left this family in your care as the first son. Why are you doing everything to tear it apart? Why? Again, I tell you, your late father will be rolling in his grave right now.
Why are you trying very hard for me to hit you? Have I not told you? Never to speak to me like that again. Zorima, you threaten me again with scrap. Go ahead. What did you say? Go ahead. Do it. But that will not stop me. That will not stop me from telling you the truth. Always. Princess Nora, where is your husband? Why is it taking him a long time to appear before us? Or have you not informed him that we're here already? Oh no, I delivered your message to him. So did. Then, why is he not here now? Hello. I see that you're here again with your man. How can I help you? What kind of question is that, Prince Suzodema? An anticipated war does not consume the cripple. We are here to start up the process that will lead to your coronation, your own coronation as our new king. So, why are you not dressed? Go in and dress and let's go for the ritual. My friends, as you can see, we are all set for the sacred rituals. Go in and dress up so that I can hand you over the royal house as the eldest of the royal family. Please, Suzodema, don't keep us waiting. Oh no, I can see that my uncle, Chief Udemba, standing to your right, clearly did not tell you everything. He did not tell you the truth. Prince Suzodema, if I may ask, what truth are you talking about? I am not going to be your king. Shut up. How dare you say such a thing? Do not shut me up. Uncle, why are you trying very hard to get me to do that which I have refused to do? Uh, my elders, please, don't mind my brother. He doesn't know what he's saying. I know exactly what I am saying. I will not be your next king, for I have totally refused to soil my hands with blood. To get involved in some devilish traditional practice all in the name of becoming king. It will not happen. When well, you're tired of standing here with your men or no, you know what to do. Yeah, who's that man? Who's on the Come back here! Your love. Eh, since when? 
please, I am not your love. And I'm sick and tired of this marriage. Allow me to go to my father's house and have peace of mind. Please, now don't go now, eh? You know that marriage is for better for us, eh? If you leave me, how do you want me to be now, eh? Please stay. Eh? Yes. There is absolutely nothing you will say or do here that will make me change my mind. No! There's no point staying in a marriage where my husband cannot perform his conjugal duties on me. Oh, yes, I got the point. Eh? You want me to stay so I will kill me a bit? Ah, uh, ah, uh, no, now. Uh, I don't want to kill you. Uh, I've not killed even mosquito before. I'm not going to kill you. Please, now. You can't do very much. Mike, like you are an evil man. A wicked man at that. Allow me to go. I am tired of this marriage. Allow me to go to my father's house. Allow me to go with my life intact. Than to stay here and die for what I don't know. I am too young to die in the hands of an evil woman who wants to make money by all means. Please. Stupid man! Yes. You're not my husband, eh? Yes. When my husband comes out, no. Get out. Wait, 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 wait. Ah, back, back. Wait. Leave this bag. Mike. Don't be too fast to Mike, leave this bag. Leave my bag. Leave my bag. Mike, leave my bag. Don't sing for me. Leave my bag. You're, you're, you want to sing now? What's the situation? Uncle, he refused to open the door. He said he doesn't want to see or talk to anybody right now. You mean Uzulima said that to you? Yes, he did. Does he know the consequences that will follow such action of his? It is very obvious that he does know what he's doing. So, what do we do next? I wish I know what can be done. Uncle Udema. Ah. Are you saying there's nothing we can do? I want to talk to you about your actions towards the entire King's Cabinet members earlier today. There is nothing to talk about. I suggest you go to sleep. A man whose house is on fire does not chase after rats. Why have you decided to chase after rats? Even when your house is about to be consumed by the fire you created. What fire? Calling the custom and ritual process that saw your late father emerge as the king of Obama in your kingdom and refusing to take up your position as the next king of this land is enough fire to consume the entire royal family. Why are you doing this? Alright, it's very clear to me that there's so much about this land that you do not know. I don't want to go into that tonight. But I'll have you know that I cannot do what they've asked of me because I'm a Christian. You once believed in this tradition. You fought for it, even as a Christian. What happened? Why did you suddenly realize that you're a Christian? I was once blind. But now I can see. You call the custom and tradition of our land evil and blind? Your late father was a Christian and a knight of the Roman Catholic Church. Yet, he held up the custom and tradition of this land as a king. Why are you not following your late father's footprint? My father lived his life the way he wanted. I'm not going to make the same mistakes that my father made. Sweetheart, let me ask you. Have you wondered why a crown prince of this land or anyone who is about to be crowned king would get on an ancient royal horse 
So I'll go to a secret place. We have a certain ritual that involves blood. It's profound. Have you wondered why? There's so much going on in this land that you do not know. We are Christians. We're not supposed to join them. No. supposed to do what the Lord says we should do. I hope you remember what the Bible says about idol worship. My Prince, this your decision is very dangerous. It is capable of destroying all of us. No, my in-law, it will not destroy us. It will liberate us instead. Such devilish practices have kept us held us down for too many years, my in-law. Huh? It is time for us to stand up as a people and set ourselves free. Oh, my in-law, stop saying what you are saying. What am I saying? What am I saying? You know, it actually beats my imagination that a very good Christian like you would sit here trying very hard to convince me into being a part of that devilish practice. It's not right. No, 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 no. Our tradition is not devilish. You think so? No. This is a long, age-long tradition handed over to us by our forefathers. Even your own father, your late father, was a knight of the Catholic Church, and he did it. This is our tradition, our culture, and that is what makes out who we are. My Elo, let me ask you. Do you read the Bible? Yes. Good. You will agree with me that the same Bible that you and I read is against it. Why are you trying very hard to convince me into doing something that is against my Christian faith? Why? Father, if I am to say, I think my husband is right. Hmm? Why are we Christians if we cannot follow the teachings of God? Will you shut up your mouth? Laura, what is wrong with you? Eh? Have you forgotten that we, your parents, are the same people that introduced you to that same Christianity you are talking about? So why introduce it to it when you knew you were able to practice it? Tradition has nothing to do with Christianity. We cannot sacrifice our tradition on the altar of Christianity. Christianity is the culture of the white man. Well, my in-law, please, let's, we don't have all day here. Truth is that the both of you, with all due respect, have not made sense to me. So you all can go ahead and do whatever it is you want to do. Uh, but since you cannot convince me otherwise, my decision stands. Really? We are still talking about this? Uncle, if I had known that this is the reason you assembled all of us here, I would not have honored this meeting. Honestly, I would not have... Uncle, look, enough is enough. Oh yes, enough is enough. I'm a man. I have rights to my choices. I have made a choice. A choice not to be your king. Leave me alone. Come back here. Are you crazy? Are you out of your mind? You talk to me in that room, mother, and stay trying to walk out of me? Have it at the back of your mind, Uncle, that I have made my decision and it's final. Nothing will make me become a member of your cult. 
nothing would make me soil my hand with such devilish practice. It would not happen. Will you stop that madness, Princess Zodima? Stop that madness and stop preventing her tradition as devilish. Oh, yeah, Kat. Keep quiet and let me educate you. What do you know? Huh? What do you know? Just so that you have a few things to say in this meeting. What do you know? Huh? I ask you, Onyeka Chuku, what do you know? How do you describe a tradition that requires that you soil your hands with blood? All in the name of performing a ritual that enables you to become king. I'm a Christian. My Bible preaches against it. My faith stands against it. I will not do it. And that is final. Who did this to you? What do you mean? Nobody. I wish Father we are alive to see what you've become. You are a crown prince for goodness sake. Who's that woman? Yes. Just get set. Get ready for the rituals. Right. I'm not even moved. I will not be a part of this devilish practice and that is final. Go out there, find yourself another king, not me. My prince, what brings you to my humble abode? Problem. Problems, you said. What is the matter? Friends, so Zodima, the crowned prince, has decided to bring disgrace upon the royal family. My prince, I don't understand what you're saying. What exactly are you trying to say? Princess Zodima has refused to perform the sacred ritual but I will lead to his coronation and see him become the next king of our land. Hmm. My prince, I hope you know the gravity of what you just said. I have no reason whatsoever to lie against Prince Uzodima. He said he's a Christian and he's not ready to soil his hands with the devilish act of performing the sacred ritual. May the gods forbid. He called it a devilish act. What is wrong with him? I am not here to find out what is wrong with him or not. I am here for you to consult the gods to find out if I, Prince Onyeka, can become the next king of our land. Konyeka, what is the meaning of what you did yesterday? I don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what you're talking about. Konyeka, I have it on good authority that you went to D.K. Oha's house yesterday. Asked him to consult the gods to see if you can become the next king of this kingdom. Deny that you were not at his place yesterday. And why will I deny the truth? Why? I want to know. Why are you doing this to yourself? Why have you chosen to abandon everything that you have and get yourself involved in this evil act? Why? Stop calling out tradition. Evil. It is what it is, Onyeka. It is what it is, Onyeka Chuku. It is mind-boggling to think that a man like you, with all of your education and everything that you have, have chosen to put all of that aside 
and get involved in this evil your people call tradition. One day this is not you. I know you. You are under an influence. Who is this man that has brainwashed you? No one has brainwashed me. Rather, you are the one that has been brainwashed by believing in the religion of the white men that has come to destroy us. Watch what you say to me. <clears throat> Why do you believe that a tradition is evil? The white men came here and told you that our culture and traditions are very bad. You believed them. They brought Christianity and said that is the way to go. You believed them. Yet, the same people who brought Christianity divided us. They made us fight one another. They made us hate each other. They made our forefathers sell our brothers and sisters into slavery to suffer and die. Prince Ozodima, Christianity is the white man's way of life. We have our way of life and we must Tradition is tradition. I still wonder if I actually fathered you, Nora. Father, I don't understand. If I am actually your father, you would listen to me and not whatever your husband, the prince, must have said to you to brainwash you. Father, he has not said anything to brainwash me. So, what did he do to you that made you forget your background, our tradition, and who you are, Nora? We told you respect, Father. Let's call a spade a spade and not a walking tool. Truth is, there is something wrong with our tradition. Which is very bad. May the ghost twist your mouth to the back for vomiting that rubbish before me. In fact, I cannot sit down here and allow you to vomit such abomination before me. Chief with them. Thank you so much for the cola and the drink. Please, can you tell us the reason you call us for this very meeting? <sighs> None. Um, I know the reason I call this meeting might not sound so right in your ears, but I want you people to think deeply about it. Oh, Chief Udemba, tell us your mind. Hmm? Go ahead and let the cat out of the car. Yes. Um, let me go straight to the point. I want to be the next king of Obama in your book kingdom. And I need your support. You're joking, right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I expected this reaction from you people. Oh, yes. But let me tell you the truth. I am damn serious about <laughs> it. Chief Udemba, you know too well that it's not possible. You are my very good friend. And I will tell you the bitter truth. What you are asking for is impossible. What is impossible about this? When the Crown Prince told us clearly 
that he is not interested in the throne. Will Obama and your kingdom stay without a king? I'm asking you people. Uh, Chief Udeba, remember Prince Onyeka is still alive. Mm -hmm. Prince Onyeka is not done yet with his education. Eh? He cannot abandon his good life overseas and his education to come here to become your king. Chief Udemba, I don't think this is going to be a very simple task to carry out. Leave that for me. Just go home. Think about it. All I need is your support. That's all. My prince, I least expected this from you. You're a Christian. And your late parents were strong Christians. Same process my father passed through before he became the king. That your father, the late king, made such mistake, is it enough reason for you to ask your elder brother to make the same mistake? My father never made any mistake. My father did the right thing. The right thing? I do worshipping. The right thing? Listen to me, Pastor Raymond. The same Chukuki Biyama who created heaven and earth, whom we pray to and believe in, is the same God that you pray to and believe in. My prince, even when blood shedding is involved? A pastor, I know at some point in the Bible, blood sacrifice was made. And I want you to have this at the back of your mind that no human blood has ever been shed during or after the process. What we do is to offer animal as a sacrifice to Shukokika Biyama. The same way in your church, your members come to the church for offering with cows, goats, chickens, to thank God for what he has done for them or things he's about to do for them. Have a nice day, Pastor. Our tradition is sacred and harmless. It's there for the welfare of the people. Oh, tradition is tradition. If you Do I look like someone who would drive all the way from my house to your house to crack a joke? Ha. I don't expect a man of your caliber to say what you just said. Mm -hmm. In other words, you are insinuating that I am not fit to be a king. Is that what you are saying? <laughs> I'm very sure you know what my personal answer would be. All the same, I will consult the gods on this. Thank you. <clears throat> so, let me wait for the outcome of your consultations with the gods.
Yes. Yes, yes. You all are here. Of course. To what do I owe this visit, if I may ask? Princess Odemma. I will come out of the Jinkitong. We have come to find out what has kept you from doing what you know you should do. You speak in parable. Okay, let me make it clear. Why have you not made yourself available for the ritual process that will lead to your emergence as a new king of our kingdom? I thought I made it explicitly clear. But I do not want to be king. I will not involve myself in devilish practice. Prince, who's that man? What are you who met it in the chair? In the more time of honesty. How dare you call such process, a sacred process, an evil practice? What is wrong with you? Do you want to attract the wrath of the gods upon yourself? Hmm. Princess Odemma, it is very, very clear that you want to make yourself available for the devil to use against this great kingdom. Make yourself available for the ritual. Make yourself available for the ritual. Else, the royal kingdom will lose the throne and we will be prepared for the consequences that will follow. The great Dikoha. The mad peace of the gods. He that dines and wines with the ancestors. Once again, I humble myself before you. Prince Unyika, hmm? a worthy son of the kingdom. Omoa. I greet you. <laughs> Adikoha. I am here in respect of my last visits to you. I want to know the outcome of your consultation with the gods in respect of becoming the king of our land. You are indeed the son of the soil. I know. The real lion of our late king. You are qualified and free to become the next king of this kingdom. Mm. <laughs> oh, you didn't know? Huh? You find a book on him, man? I want to marry. Last night, for you to look at your brosa. Oh, why? As an angwa bulu, man. May the gods be praised. All the time, all the time. At last. Prince Uzodima will be stopped for bringing shame and disgrace to the royal household and the kingdom at large. Mm -hmm. The ways of the gods are not like that of men. If a hakuru kage me, my prince. Thank you once again. My prince, mm -hmm. I greet you again. If I could look on him, eh? Okay, me, me, me. <laughs> You're welcome, Princess Adora. And what brings you to my office at this time of the day? I am here to talk to you about my brother, the crowned prince of our land. I hope all is well. All is not well, Pastor Raymond. My brother is about to destroy the entire kingdom. Entire kingdom. Yes. What did he do? 
he has vehemently refused to become the next king. He said he will never perform this sacred ritual that will lead to his coronation as king. I just returned from school and I was told that the Ono and the entire king's cabinet came to the palace to warn him to do what is right, else... The throne will move to another family. Yes. And the royal family will suffer the consequences that follows. You are aware of this already? Yes. I know everything that has been happening. So what stop you from talking to him to do the right thing? I know my brother, he respects you a lot. I know he will listen to you. Princess Adora, I've talked to your elder brother, Prince Ozadema. And we're on the same page. Listen. He cannot perform the said ritual because it is evil. It is evil. The church is against such practice. Hmm, I see. Now I know where the problem is coming from. You are among those misleading my brother. Pastor Raymond, I am very, very disappointed at you. How could you advise the prince to do something that will work against the royal family? Oh, come on, Princess Adora. Stop sounding like an unbeliever. You are a Christian. This has nothing to do with Christianity. Why must we throw away our entire customs and traditions? All because we are Christians. Princess Andorra, you're getting it all wrong. Remember that the church is against idol worship. How can you, as a Christian, support your brother to indulge in idol worship just because he wants to become the next king? <sighs> I should have known that coming here will not yield any positive fruits. Pastor Raymond, I want you to have this at the back of your mind that I am very, very disappointed at you. Princess Adora, remember you are a Christian. Tradition is tradition. I was made to understand that the ritual process leading to anyone becoming king of this land does not require shedding of human blood. I was also told that this process has to ensure that no man with human blood on his hands or any man with evil intentions for this land is crowned king. I don't know who fed you with that nonsense. Tradition is tradition for the Nana Banyo. If a Jimalan, you know, if you know, Menana, eh, oh, Menana, God, they get day, oh, God, they get day, oh, Menana Banyo, oh, Menana, God, they get day, oh, God, they get day. A harmless culture, ways of our fathers. I am a daughter of this land. Your wife. Am I not supposed to know certain things concerning this land? A kingdom that I am supposed to rule with you, my husband. Nora, I will not be performing any devilish ritual so get that very stupid illusion of you becoming the queen of this kingdom someday out of your head why are you seriously running away from what tradition demands of you princess 
Prince Suzodimu, what skeleton do you have in your cupboard? What kind of nonsense talk is that? Call it whatever you like. I need you to open up and tell me exactly what happened the day you came back and claimed that you had an accident and rushed the person you knocked down to the hospital. What other truth do you want to hear aside what I told you the day I came home? If you really had an accident of such magnitude, how come there was no single scratch on your car that day? Are you interrogating me, Nora? Are you insinuating that I have blood on my hands? I seek truth. I want to know why my husband, the crown prince of this land, an heir to the throne does no one to do what is expected of him. From the look on your faces, I can tell that you all are not happy. What yes. is the matter? Yes, we are not happy. We are here to ask you why you have refused to obey our tradition. Have I spoken your mind? Yes, you have. I see. Let's not beat about the bush. I will not be your next king. For I will not involve myself in that barbaric tradition. I see it as evil, I see it as wrong before God. So I suggest that all of you get yourselves together and go back home and save yourselves from the stress. Prince Odima, are you walking out of the entire youth of this great kingdom? Listen to me. When the music changes, the dance also changes. Oh, uh, my fellow youths, I sincerely apologize for the misconduct of the Crown Prince. Please, find a place in your heart to forgive him, for he does not know what he is doing. My Prince, we are not here to listen to your apologies. Tell the Crown Prince to obey our tradition, else the entire royal family should get ready to dance to the music we play for them. Princess Odima, it is very clear to me that you're all out to destroy the wonderful legacy that our father has built over the years. But I have good news for you. I will not sit and watch you destroy that and achieve your evil end. What would you do? Force me to get involved in this barbaric tradition? Our uh, tradition is not barbaric. Not at all. And to answer your question, I will not force you to do anything. But I have decided to stop you from achieving that evil end by doing that which you've refused to do. You know you have just lied to yourself. Oh, you lie. Not while I'm alive. And what will you do if I try it? I'll go to any land to stop you and do everything to stop you. Prince Zodima. Is that his friend or what? Hello. Onyeka. 
you are not going to abandon everything that you have worked for in the United States. Come back here. Begin to contest your throne with me. Bring yourself back here and begin to propagate and project some ancient barbaric tradition. Trust me, please take it. Thank you for your cooler. You are welcome. So, Chief Udimba, so tell me what brings you to my house. Whatever the toad is chasing in a broad daylight must be dear to it. I agree with you. I have waited to hear from you concerning what I told you the last time I visited you here. For which you promised to lay us with the gods. I didn't hear from you. That's why I'm here. Chief Udemba, the gods have not said anything. That is why you didn't get a message from me. Do you mean that the gods have not said anything? The gods are silent. Dikwa, the gods must not be silent at this time. This is not the right time. The God must speak. Yes, their silence is not good at this very moment. It will destroy a lot of things in this kingdom. No, they must speak. Oh. They must speak. This is not the time to remain silent. Chief Udemba, I am just an ordinary messenger of the gods. Who am I to speak when the gods have not spoken? They must speak. There is something go wrong in this kingdom. How can they remain silent? It's not time for them to remain silent. It's not true. They must talk. Because I tell them to talk. They must talk. What do you mean? Are they deaf and dumb? They must talk. Watch your words. Chief Udemba, watch your words. That is his cup of tea. I have made my decision, and my decision is final. So what happens to your education? I don't know for now. Don't you think your father will not be happy with you if you abandon your education because of the throne? He really wanted you to become a medical doctor. Oh no, well, let me ask you one simple question. Which one is more important, being a medical doctor or to secure the throne and at the same time to secure the culture and tradition of our people? Which one is more important? May the will of the gods be done. Now you come. You say... Exactly. He said I should um, go ahead. Good. But I hope you are aware that you will not perform this ritual or be crowned king if you are not married.
Please let me a pack of cold food. Two glasses of water. A small spoon. Please, this is my princess. Oh, my princess. To be honest with you, I don't think you see what about this. You think so? Yes, I do. I mean, he can't possibly want to be the king. When his elder brother, I mean the heir apparent to the throne is still much alive. It's not possible. You don't know Prince Onyeka very well. Trust me. I can tell you when he is serious and when he's joking. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Yes. You know, I I know he's just trying to do everything possible to save the throne and the royal family. But my problem right now is my husband. He has vowed to stop you at all costs. Ha! Huh. That is a big problem. Serious or not? The problem is more than serious. <sighs> so, I'm good. Uncle, I am here for us to discuss something very, very important. Mm. I hope there is no problem at the palace. Uh, not at all. Uh, there is no cause for alarm. I'm, I'm, I'm all ears. Go ahead. Uncle, I have decided to do that which Prince Uzodima has refused to do. Are you sure you understand the weight of what you've just said? Of course, I do, and uh, I am very serious about it. You see, Uncle, I can't sit back and watch the image of the royal family being dragged to the mud and oh. thereby causing problem to the royal family. <laughs> Hi. Very good. Which means you are no longer that little Onyeka that I used to know. Maturity has set in now. Hey, hey. hey very good news. But there is a little problem. You know, you are still a bachelor. You are not married yet. And you are still grappling with your education. Uh, talking about um, education, uh, that is not a problem at all. The only place I, I would say I see a little problem is the aspect of a wife. But I promise you, Uncle, I will get a wife as soon as possible. Uh, uh, did you mention that to Prisuzo, the Maya brother, or you don't want him to know about it? Uh, yes, uh, I did. I did. Uh, and what did he say? He said he would go to any length to stop me. I said it. This is where the big problem lies. Oh, yes. This is the huddle. Mm. Hey. Please, I want you and my daughter to know that stubbornness does not pay anyone any good. Rather, it destroys. What are you saying? Because I'm lost. Please, my son, I want you to reconsider your decision concerning the throne. You can't fight the entire kingdom. Besides, your decision is affecting us negatively. My dear, we stand a chance of being excommunicated if you do not do what you are supposed to do as a prince. On the other hand, my husband has denied me access to my kitchen. He has seized the key to my kitchen 
He said, I will not eat anything if I did not talk sense into your head. Why would he even do something like that? What sort of question is that? Did you not hear her? I mean, if you had done what is expected of you, will all these things happen? Will it? <laughs> ah, life. What shall it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? Uh, Mama, I beg you, please, when you get back to the house, kindly appeal to my father-in-law to give you the keys to the kitchen. And in the event that he refuses, I want you to see it as one of the sacrifices you have to make as a Christian. Tradition is tradition. Odena na banyo. If a jimala nino. If you no mena na. Yeah. Omena na. Omena na gadigi de. I was told that you wanted to see me. Oh yes, please. I need for us to talk. Please sit down. You want us to talk? Yes. I hope all is well. Oh yeah. Well, all is well. Please sit. Oh, all right, I'm listening. Well, you would agree with me that um, the past few weeks hasn't been particularly smooth between the both of us. I called you here to let you know that I'm tired of fighting with my brother. I'd like for you and I to shame our enemies and get back to the way we used to be, you know? We used to be this very loving, peaceful, indivisible family. My brother, I, I do not have any problem with you. The only problem we have is your refusal to do what you are supposed to do as the crown prince of this kingdom. <sighs> Onyeka, as your elder brother and as a crown prince of this kingdom, there are things that I see and know that you do not see. I know. Maybe sometimes I come off the wrong way, but I'm just being a protective brother. Since you declared that you would go ahead to perform the blood rituals that I refuse to perform, I haven't been myself. Please, please, take that off your mind. So, what do you want me to do? Come on, you already have the answer to that question. My brother, I cannot take back my word. The only way I can take back my word it's only when you agree to do the ritual. But if you refuse to do the needful, I will never. Can you can reason with me? Please. I am serious here. Since you are not ready to do the needful, Uh, my prince, mm. the what do I owe this August visit, or do I call it royal visitation? I hope I'm right. <laughs> uh, you, you're right. Mm -hmm. um, Mazi, <coughs> you see, Mazi. we are... Don't forget in the hurry, right? Mm. 
It's okay. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, Mazo. Hmm. Our people say that it is good to give honor mm -hmm. to whom honor is due. Sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And on that note, <clears throat> we have come with this. <clears throat> Oh, Manya Jaupa. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. You are really welcome. Um, <clears throat> but my son, you see, uh, I don't really understand the angle you are coming from. Neither do I know where you are heading to. Uh, but uh, I would like you to, to, uh, to refresh your statement. Put it in a language that I will understand. I mean, break it in a, a layman language that I will understand. Amazing. Yes, and I be go. You see, there is this beautiful other fruit that we saw. And that other fruit caught our attention. And in the other hand, we also found out that the other fruit belongs to you. Indeed. Hmm? Yes. <laughs> so, you know, as sons of the soil, that is why we have come to declare our interest in making the other fruits ours. Mm. <laughs> you have spoken very, very well. You are a son of the soil. <clears throat> you have spoken like a son of the soil that you really are. Uh, but if I may ask, who amongst you wants to pluck the Udara fruits that you saw? I am the one, Mazi. Ah. Yes. Oh, that is good, my prince. You are the one. That is great. I've had you. But I will have to, as a known moon women, to meet with my family and deliberate on it. Okay. Then I will get back to you. Hmm? Why have you decided to punish the people around you? I don't know what you're talking about. My innocent mother is suffering because you have refused to do what is expected of you. If you'll be gracious enough to stop speaking in parables and tell me how I have contributed to your mother's suffering, it would really help. Please speak in a language that I can understand. What have I done? Prince Adam, you're very much aware. My father sees my mother's kitchen keys and banned her from eating in the house. My mother is starving in her own house because of you. So now you blame me for your father's action. How? How am I responsible for your mother's ugly fate? Why are you acting as if you do not know what will befall my family if you do not do the right thing? You know my mother played a very important role in convincing my father to give his blessings to our union. And right now, he is using that against her. Those are them. I beg you in the name of whatsoever you respect so much to do what is expected of you so that my father can release my mother's kitchen keys to her and give her access to food in the house. Else, there will be no food for you in this house again. You are threatening me. Call it whatever you like.
Chief Udemba, are you sure of what you just said? What kind of question is this? Chief Udemba, he asked you that question for us to be sure of what is going on. So that we know how best we can handle the situation. The prince came to my house to deliver this message by himself. This is serious. I want you people to go and do everything within your powers to ensure that he does not become the king. No matter the cost, how food the bill. Uh, Chief Ujemba, we have heard what you said. Uh, it is not going to be an easy task. But if you make money available to us, we will come up with a good reason. Chubu and I don't have a problem. What happens to Chubu? Consider it done. Can we not have peace in this palace? Elders, why are you all here again? Priests of Dima, all who gave one kitan here, where are we since the death that will kill the poppy does not allow it to perceive the smell of an excrement? Oh no. Can you not beat about the boat and just hit the nail on the head? Tell us why you're here with this man today. You have two weeks, two weeks to either perform the ritual or have you, the entire royal family, banished from this great kingdom. Great kingdom of Ubuama and Yogo. Oh no. Has it gotten to this level? In here, it's a native egg. And with this native egg, in this clay pot, the palm front, the broom, with them, we shall sweep all of you out of this great kingdom of Obama and you. Be warned. Be warned. Only nature did not come Nature did come Whoever the challenges tradition challenges the gods. My priest, please, don't. I beg you in the name of God, please. Can you people not see the amount of evil that all of you are promoting in this palace? But today, it comes to an end. My prince, please, I beg you, do not attract the wrath of the gods upon yourself. I am not afraid of the gods. For he that is in me is better than he that is in their gods. Let their gods unleash his wrath on me and let me see. This nonsense must come short. <laughs> what have you done? I left everything I was doing as soon as I received your call. I hope all is well. All is definitely not well, Prince Onyeka. I have a reliable information that you have vowed to perform the very ritual which your elder brother, Prince Uzodema, refused to perform. The information you got is absolutely correct. 
But I still do not understand why you gave me such an urgent call because of this. As a pastor and a very close friend of the royal family, it is my duty to ensure that I guide you rightly on issues like this. What you are about to do is wrong. It is wrong before the eyes of the church and before God. Pastor, do we have to go over this all the time? If I had known that this is why you called me, believe me, Pastor, I wouldn't have been here. Prince Onika, why will a Christian like you allow these people to manipulate you into this? What you're about to do is wrong, is very wrong. The church frowns seriously at it. Pastor, this has nothing to do with the church. This is purely culture and tradition of our people. It baffles me how we got to this point. Tell me, Pastor, how can we throw away our beautiful custom and tradition because the white man told us that it's barbaric? What is barbaric about the tradition of our land? Tell me. Answer the question, what is barbaric about it? A harmless tradition, a harmless ritual that gives us the platform by which we choose our king that is void of evil. The king that will rule us in truth and in justice, Pastor. Pastor, before I became a Christian, I was first a man of Obama in your global kingdom. A man that believes so much in tradition and culture of our people. If the white man has vowed to protect his religion with everything he has got, I, Prince Unyeka, has vowed to uphold the custom and tradition of my people. Tradition is tradition. If a Jimalan, you know, if you know, man, and my love, who is your love? Why are you calling me your love? I have warned you times with that number that I am not your love, and I will e never ever be your love. Uh, calm down. Am I the only beautiful girl in this town? Calm down now. Why don't you let me have peace of mind? Put down your voice. You're embarrassing me. Embarrassing you? Oh, you have not an embarrassment yet. But what is wrong with you? Am I the only beautiful girl in this kingdom? Don't you let me have peace of mind. What did I do to Calm you? Calm down now. Eh? I know you too well you're not the only girl in this village. But it is you that my heart beats for. Tell your heart to stop beating for me. Because it will keep on beating until it falls off or breaks off completely. What is wrong with you? I am in love with somebody else. I don't love you. So stop disturbing me. Don't you dare leave your beauty for me ever again. The very next time you will try to lay your hands on me, you will regret what I did to you. Useless man. If I'm a, you're missing a lot. Oh. Come, let's go. You're missing a lot. Be a kangwagi something. Eh? I don't like this, your attitude. Please. Just simple love. You cannot love someone. You're mine. Don't worry. <coughs> My fellow elders, I think. Uh, the best thing to do is to allow Chief Udemba, the younger brother of the late king, to perform the ritual and become the king. <coughs> Kono, why must you say such a thing? Did you hear what Ono said concerning um, Prince Onyaka? Oh. <laughs> I know we all have the right to say whatever we like and to think in any way we want. But the fact remains there that we have tradition. <coughs> My fellow elders, I support what Ichie Okonu said. Mm -hmm. Chief Udemba is more experienced when it comes to culture and tradition. Having said that, I am of the opinion that 
Chief Udemba be made the king of our kingdom instead of Prince Pino. <laughs> there is no way we can crown Chief Udemba. When our late king still have a legitimate song that is very interested to perform the rituals and become our king. Ichoba, what are you saying? The person in question is not married yet. Uh -huh. And we know that the tradition does not support or allow any man to be crowned king without having a wife. Uh -huh. hmm? What are we saying? Huh? Well, um, you raised a very good mm -hmm. point. Yeah. That reminds me of something. So let me see this opportunity to let you all know that Prince Onyeka has already started the process of getting money. Wow. And uh, as we speak, let us, by this time next week, it will be true for the money. Yeah, of course. <laughs> No. You could imagine. Uh, uh, let's be sure that he's not being persuaded. Exactly. Mazi, hmm? you needed to see the way your daughter humiliated me on the road before her friends. And those two idiots were there watching without saying or even doing anything to stop her. Hmm. This is strange, oh. honestly strange. Are you sure you're saying the truth? What kind of question is that? Are you saying that I'm lying or I don't even know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Please, my in-law, don't be angry. I really want to apologize to you on behalf of my daughter, Ifoma. I also want you to forgive my Wife, hmm? the way she talked to you, please calm down. Hmm? It's all right, Mazi. It's okay. It's okay. It's nothing. I trust that I want you people to convince your daughter to marry me. And I will change your lives forever. As a matter of fact, I will buy both of you a car each. And then I will build you a befitting house. I will take you out of this mushroom. I have the money. I have the money to employ the best of all architects in the world to come build you a nice house. <laughs> Thank you very much. I really appreciate and I know you can do that. But now, listen and listen good. As a matter of fact, mm -hmm. my daughter, Ifoma, she is already your wife. <laughs> I've, I, I, I've given her to you. Hey, Mazi. Whether she like it or not, nobody will stop her. <laughs> nobody. That's what I just want you to know. Mazi, Mazi. Hmm? Oh, thank you very much. She are doing well. You're thank you very well. much. Well, as a matter of fact, let me appreciate you with a little token. Mm. Yes, a very little one. Both of you can have this for bread. Bread? Yes. Uh -uh. <laughs> Don't you see? Good son-in-law. I have been talking about him like this. You every time you find your face, it, well, that's friend in face. You bring this money. And thank you very much. Mazi, we, uh, you know, we keep it. This is small mm. compared to what you'll be receiving once I become your in-law. Ah, you're already my in-law. Uh -huh. yeah, without wasting much time, follow me. There are things I have in my car for my wife, if I'm a... mm -hmm. Follow me. Kaiga? Follow Kaiga. Kaiga, if I'm an asshole, you Kaiga. Hey, hey. Will you come or oh, come quick? Ah uh, ah! Uh, I'll you. Hey hey! I'll you. Kenneth, I don't know why Pastor Raymond will not leave me to live my life the way it pleases me. I don't just know why. My prince, I will not blame him that much. In fact, I will not blame him at all. You know why? It is because of the the, the embrace that the royal family gave him, that is, that is swelling his head, that is now overstepping his boundaries. So I don't blame him at all. I don't. I, I don't know what he's thinking about. As if I am not old enough to know what is good and what is bad. But, but my prince, wait. I thought you told him that while you were with him in his office. Do you think I didn't do that? Of course I did. 
As a matter of fact, I went there just because of the respect I have for him. That's the truth. But mark my word, henceforth, I will never, ever step my foot in that office again. Good. Ah, uh -uh. is it not you again, my prince? See, my prince, let me tell you. You see that pastor? That pastor is not worth your time. It's not worth your happiness. Huh? It's not worth your joy. Are you not the lion I know? Okay, uh, one man cartel. Cartel, my prince, my prince, Biko, Biko. Forget that one. Let's discuss something very important. Okay. How is he from? Have you heard from her? Oh, no, 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 no. But we, we went there just yesterday. Uh, my prince, it doesn't, it doesn't mean, it doesn't matter. Listen, we don't have time. If it would. Why don't you to be calling her every minute of the day? Good. I, I think you have a point there. You, you have a point. Yeah, sure. Uh, don't worry, I'll, I'll call her later. Yeah, sure. I like that smile. <laughs> <laughs> My prince! Odogu. Odogu moke. Hey! Omeka nea. Abalufiyan. Yeah, nah. Ekuru kwa My husband, what will you gain if I die this night? What kind of stupid talk is that? Are you planning to die this night? No. I do not wish to die. Mm. But starvation may lead me to an early grave. Mm. Okuro, please. I am hungry. And I need to eat something, please. Now I know. Yeah. There's no food for you. And there can never be any food for you. What? In this house. Until you go and talk to your son in law. Eh? To do what he's supposed to do. But, my husband, why are you suffering me because of the prince? Why do you want to kill me because of the prince? Because he's your son in law. Is he not also your son in law? Mm -mm. He has never been of any help to me. If you had not insisted that we marry our daughter Nora away to him. Eh, we will not be where we are now. But it's not my fault that the prince refused to do what the tradition demands of him. Eh? Why am I paying for the sins of another man? Eh? The earlier you do what I ask you to do, the better for you. No food for you. Go and talk to the prince to do the needful. Eh? He cannot bring the wrath of the land and the gods upon, upon my household. No, never. Nani. Go, 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 don't worry, I'll go, just give me... That star! You think I don't know that you eat outside? You think I don't know? If, if you are not eating outside, you would have reduced in size. Eh? No food for you, get out of my side. Nai, please, na. They are saying get out! Yeah? Get out of here, get, get out of here and go inside. Go and sleep. Sleep, food, mba. But sleep, I allow you to sleep, sleep. You will not die, go and talk to the prince. Come and tell me nine. No food for you. Let the prince do what the lamb wants him to do. Okay, I'll leave. Okay. Sleep, sleep. Sleep does not kill. Food cannot kill you. Mm. My princess, what do I owe this visit? Um, Udoka. I want you to use your position as the youth leader of this kingdom to give Prince Onika all the support he needs. My princess. What support are you talking about? Um, it is no longer news that the youth of our kingdom are no longer happy with the entire royal family due to the fact that the crown prince, Prince Ozodima, refused to do that which tradition demands of him. But the good news is Prince Onyeka has decided to do that which the crown prince refused to do. Are you telling me the truth? Yes, I have no reason to lie to you. 
I got the information that the youth of this kingdom are planning a very serious <laughs> protest to force the banishment of the crown prince and the entire royal family. And this is to happen before the two weeks notice given by the elders. My princess, the information you got is very correct. Udoka, I need you to stop them. Make them understand that Prince Onyeka needs time to sort out very important thing before he can commence with the ritual. My princess, what is that one important thing he needs to do before performing the rituals? And what exactly is the support you need from us? Prince Onyeka cannot perform the ritual without getting married. He cannot also get married if you people carry out the protest. I need you people to call off the protest so that Prince Onyeka will have enough time to do the needful. Please. I can't believe what you just told me. My prince, you know that I can't possibly lie to you. I'm telling you nothing but the truth. That your father, Marziano, wants you to get married to Mike? Yes. And what happens to me? He said he would never allow me to marry you. My prince, I don't want to marry that young man. He's so proud and arrogant and full of himself. I don't love him. It is you that I love. Please, come and help me and talk to my father to allow us to get married. It's all right. It's okay. What we be, we surely be. My prince, I, I don't understand. Are you, are you trying to say that you're not going to come and talk to my father? No, that's not what I mean. I, I will find out how to handle this situation. Everything will be fine. Are you sure, my prince? Because I'm, I'm very scared. You don't have to be scared. Trust me on this. Everything will be fine. Okay, my prince, I trust you. That's okay. Thank you. Thank you. Just be calm. Brother. Yes, how are you? I'm fine. Oh. Brother, I think the princess is right. You mean the princess? Yes. What makes you think she's right? Well, I'm sorry for eavesdropping on your conversation this time around. What makes you think she's right? You and I know Prince Sonyeka can't be the king if he's not married. And you people need to support him by letting him get himself a wife. Or are you planning to install another person as a king? I will always do the right thing because I do not want the gods to get angry with me. Well, I'm glad to hear that, brother. And I always want you to do the right thing, too. Um, it's true. You said you're going back to school tomorrow, right? Yes, brother. I'll make the money you need available tomorrow. They just paid us our salary for the month. I want you to promise me something. Cross your heart. What's that, brother? Because when you get to school, concentrate. Remember where you come from. Are you, brother? Make me proud. Are school. you? Okay. Get me water, please. I want to. <coughs> Mazi, mm -hmm. do you people know that I have succulent girls with quality shapes who are more beautiful than your daughter that are begging me to marry them? Mm -hmm. Why is your daughter doing this to me? Uh, is it because she knows that I love her so much? Why? Anna, Buto. Oh? Emma Nakira, calm down. Oh? I believe she will come around soon. Come around me. Very soon. How? Where? Ah, I can see that she wants to see the other side of me. But don't worry. I will teach her a lesson she will never forget in a hurry. The problem is that small boy called Onyeka. He's the one deceiving her. I don't even know who made him a prince. But don't worry. Don't worry. I will deal with him in my own special way. Uh, please, my in-law. Anything you know you can do, do it to save the situation. But for my daughter, Ifoma, you must marry my daughter. <laughs> Ifoma is your wife. She really needs to get and married to I me. I assure you, nobody, I mean, nobody can stand between you. 
She is already your wife. She really needs to be my wife. Of course. She needs to be my wife. Oh, don't you want me to change your life forever? I have the money to do it. I have the money to take you out of this mushroom. Oh, the money is there. Oh, may go. Okay, now to you I'm mad. Oh, put to. Ah, this one. KK gets in a gossip mad was on it. Yes, in of you. If I'm bad. Oh, man, please. My in law. She's my wife. But to a but to a but. Our tradition is sacred and harmless. It's there for the welfare of the people. Oh. Why is this small boy? Why is he fighting me? Why is he depriving me of the opportunity, this golden opportunity, of ascending the throne of my forefathers? Why are you constituting yourself to a clog in the wheel of my progress? Why? Why? Why didn't you tell me all this while? That you had eyes on the throne. So, you've been eavesdropping. You've been listening to all I was saying. That is not the answer to my question. Well, Certain things are left unsaid. Besides, I wasn't ready for anybody discouraging me on this. Including me, your wife? Well, I, I don't really know where you stand. I was just being careful. I understand. But listen to me. You cannot be the king by sitting here and talking to yourself. If you want to be the next king of this kingdom, just stand up from where you are sitting and start doing something. Do I take this to mean you support me on this? Will it be a taboo if I become the next queen of this kingdom? What is the meaning of this? What are you doing with my woman? Excuse me, but who exactly are you referring to as your woman? Honey, stay out of this. How dare you call her honey before me? Why are you fighting a lost battle, Malik? This is one thing men of Obama and Yogo Kingdom are not known for. Back off. She doesn't love you. It's obvious you do not have respect for wealth and power. I can see you have grown wings, and I will make sure I break those wings for you. An empty vessel that makes the greatest noise. When men are talking, kids like you are expected to keep mute and listen to men talk. Back out. No meeting can be successful for the mice where the killing of the cat is the agenda. Stay away from her. I have warned you. What I kill for, we will go boy you. Bring it on. Wait for it. I have warned you. Can you imagine what my father is making me go through? Let's go, honey.
Honestly, my praise, I find it so difficult to believe what you've just said now. I am serious. I I wish you were there to witness what happened. Wait, my prince. You mean Marziono looked you in the face and told you that you cannot marry his daughter, Ifoma? Kenneth, um, if he had politely said that to me, I would have understood. But he warned me. He warned me to take glare from his daughter. As a matter of fact, he said I should not step my feet into his compound again. Up to that. My prince, this is trouble. So what are we going to do now? I don't think we'll have anything to do. I think uh, this is a lost battle. Uh, I can't just imagine that Mike defeated me on this. Mike? Who is Mike, my prince? I don't know. I, 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 don't, I don't know him, but I've met him before. My prince, I, I don't want to believe that you, the masquerade I know, will just succumb for an ordinary commoner from nowhere. Who is this Mike that would de defeat you? The oracle that I know. Mm. Or don't know where. Ah. No, my prince, that will not happen. See, I must go and find out who this Mike is. If you know where came earlier, I actually guy is me. Huh? Oh, Kenneth. I don't think we could do anything on this matter. Uh, my prince, you've known me for quite some time now. You know I'm one person that don't accept no as an answer. I can never succumb to defeat or drop possible, my prince. There must be a way out. You see this, Mike? I must find out who he is and what he's up to. Lapomoko. Why are you trying very hard to bring shame on this royal family? I don't know what you're talking about. I have it done good or short it. Onyek. That Marziono embarrassed you a few minutes ago. And who told you that? That is not the question. The question is, why? Are you trying very hard to drag the name of this beautiful family through the mud? What is wrong with you? There is nothing wrong with me, Prince. Onye Kachuku, if this is about you becoming the next king of this land, I am going to do everything to stop you. I promise you. Is there any other thing I can get for you? No, I'm okay. You can go. Okay. As it pleases you, my prince. My princess. 
<laughs> My prince, what you just said is unbelievable. Prince Onyeka, are you sure you're not just trying to pull my legs? How can I pull your legs with something as important as this? <laughs> you needed to be there to see how much young embarrassed me. <gasps> how dare him do such a thing to a prince of this land? Huh? My princess. <sighs> that I'm a prince doesn't make me a god. You know, Marziano expressed himself. He, he spoke his mind, though in a very wrong way. Wait, hold on. Are you saying you're going to let him have his way? I mean, you're going to forget about Ifoma just like that? Ah, my princess, my, my, my head is filled up right now. I can't really figure out what to do next, but... I hope it doesn't hurt. <laughs> And why are you standing there moping at me? Nay. No. I am really, really hungry. Please. I need something to eat. Please. Have I not told you what to do before you start eating in this house? Have I not? But I have I have spoken to the prince concerning the issue. Well, I have not seen anything to that effect. My husband, I think the prince needs just a little time for him to change his mind and do the right thing. I don't think I will be able to survive this night if I did not eat. Please. Okay. I will allow you eat this night. But be rest assured that I will not hesitate to sanction you again if nothing positive comes out of your meeting with the, with the prince in no distant time. Do you hear me? Yes. Now take. Here's the key to the kitchen. Hmm? Take little rice. Very little rice. Eh? Don't take the soup. Just cook it with oil and small salt and bring back the key. Yeah. Thank you. One well, more so. Tradition is tradition. Hey. Okay, but that like that uh, seedless watermelon. Uh, hey, not a go. Uh, six foot three inches tall. Yes, come in. Uh, look at me looking all good in my style. Uh, the fitting is good. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, is everything okay? You're not smiling. What is the meaning of this rubbish? I'm saying, okay, you want to go to trouble. Shall I come in and see? Where did you get this from? Right inside my car. So it has gotten to the point where you have to drop a note of threat for me right inside my car. Excuse me? Don't 
putting light on in here anywhere. You had me clear. Huh? So, this is how you want to fulfill your promise of going to any length just to stop him from performing the ritual rites. What are you talking about? Come on now, stop this. Why would you even begin to think that I'll do this to you? Why? Friends, what's on man? I just want to let you know that I'm aware you're behind this rubbish. This is from this. This is from this. Be warned. Be warned. If former my love, Obim, today I have come to demonstrate my love for you before your parents. As a matter of fact, I came with this beautiful car just to prove my love for you. Mm. If former, please. Marry me. And I will change the life of your family for good. Mike, thank you so much for this car. Mm -hmm. But I don't remember telling you that I need a car from you. Take this car back to wherever you got it from because I don't need it. And one more thing, I will never ever marry you. Ifom, why are you doing this? I know you are joking. I love you. But I don't love you. Take your love to Somebody get them, I need it from you because I don't need it. Ifoma, eh? may the gods strike your mouth with the thunder for vomiting this rubbish. Ifoma, have you gone mad? Is Papa, you mad? Papa, I'm not mad. I am old enough to know what I want and what I do not want. And I don't want this man. No, no, no. I don't love him and I don't want to marry Ifoma, him. Ifoma, shut up your mouth. Allah, my boogie. Don't you have respect for your father again? Will you shut your mouth up? If I'm not. Oh, yeah? Yeah? Nalia? Call the key. Call the key and the ring. Take it. Call the key for me. Take it. Call the key now. Call the key right now. Papa, Papa. Oh, man, I will not marry him. If I'm not. If I'm not. If I'm not. Obim. Hi. Hi. If I'm not. Hi. If I'm not. What was the meaning of the rubbish you did outside here? I'm talking to you. Can't you talk? Have you suddenly become dumb? Mama, why is it so difficult for you people to accept the fact that I cannot marry Mike? Why? I, I don't know why you are forcing me into a marriage that I don't want. I know what is best for me as a person. Of course you must know what is good for you. And Mike is the best for you. Papa, hmm? Mike is best for you and not for me. I won't marry him. Ouch! Nonsense. How dare you talk about that to me? Whether you like it or not, Mike is your husband. Informer, I'm so disappointed at you. I'm so disappointed at you, Informer. In fact, you are a disgrace to us, your parents. You must marry Mike, whether you like it or not. And that is final. Nonsense. Rubbish. I'm not going to I'm not going to marry him. I will never marry him. I won't marry him. Greetings to you, my good friend, Princess Nora. Greetings to you, Juliet. I must say, I am surprised with this call. I don't know if we're still friends or not. My princess, why will you say such a thing? Why won't I? Tell me, when was the last time my supposed friend visited me, knowing fully well all I'm going through right now? Then like how? My princess, I was seriously warned not to step my feet into the palace anymore. Really? Who did that? Try 
Can you please go ahead and tell me who said that to you? If I must tell you, you would definitely promise me that you will not make troubles with the person. It's okay. I don't make any trouble with him. But truth be told, I am shocked. I can't believe Prince Onyeka told you that. Changes, the only thing that is permanent in anybody's life. So don't let it bother you. Hope your parents are good now. I'm good. My parents are okay. Although my mother is not feeling too well. Wait, 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 wait. Hold, just. Are you serious? Oh, my goodness. Who could have done this? What is it? What happened? What? <laughs> That's impossible. The know who that I know cannot joke or lie with issues as important as this. What? Who would they kidnap the chief priest? My history tells me that he has a lot to do with my ambition of becoming the next king of our land. Prince Onyeka, you're scaring me. Uh, no, no you, you, uh, you don't need to be scared. What I'm trying to say is that um, we have to be careful. All, all is not well. We have to be careful. <laughs> Going by this picture, I am forced to believe that you know Mike. But how well you know him for us to believe whatever you're saying here is what I cannot say. Um, <clears throat> I know Mike well enough to tell you that he's not the kind of man you would want to marry your daughter. Mm -hmm. Young man, mind what you say. I mean, mind what comes out of your mouth against that innocent young man. Mazi, I understand you love your daughter so much. Yes. And you also want the best for her in the family of marriage. Of course. A man that used his manhood for money is certainly not the kind of man you force your daughter to marry. What did I just hear you say? That Mike used his manhood for money rituals? You heard me loud and clear. Ogidiba! Hey! Young man, now let me ask you. How much did Prisonyeka pay you to do this right? To come here and voice this out. To my hearing. Mazi, may they go strike me with thunder if I'm lying against him. Hmm? But for the records, the prince is too busy to pay me to come and do this. He did not give me a dime. He didn't. This is unbelievable. Mazi, I know that you people will find it difficult to believe. But I would want you to do this, Mazi. Mm -hmm. Ask Mike what happened to his marriage with Sonia. I was one of his men on suit on his wedding day. But the marriage did not last long. You know, Sonia found out that his manhood was dead. And as a matter of fact, Mike was at the verge of using Sonia for sacrifice when she took 
to her heels, she ran for her dear life. Young man, if I find out that you are lying to me, I assure you, you will have me to contend with. Mazi, that wouldn't be a problem. Hanu wa You know, that wouldn't be a problem. But I would implore you to do a thorough investigation. Find out the truth. Mike happens to be my very good friend. A very cool pal. Like, we roll together, we do things together. But, you know, when I found out the kind of life he lives, I had to end the friendship. And I don't want to soil my hand and I can't associate with people that Hey! I can't do that. I'm too clear for that, Master. One does the say shall never cease. Eh? My husband, have you heard the news going around in the kingdom? What news? That the chief priest has been kidnapped. Okay. What has that got to do with me? My prince, did I hear you well? I said the chief priest of this land has been kidnapped. And I was going to ask you, how is it my business if your fetish priest, Dikyo, gets kidnapped? As far as I'm concerned, he can get kidnapped as many times as possible. It's not my business. I am seriously disappointed. Why is that? Are you the one talking? Do I really know you well? I mean, are you the same man I got married to? Are you sure you do not have a hand in the kidnap of the chief priest? Nora, do not insult me. I'm not a murderer. Let this be the last time you approach me with a topic as stupid and as dirty as this. What business can I possibly have with a fetish priest? Have it at the back of your mind that light and darkness have no relationship whatsoever. For light will always take precedence over darkness. Hey, what? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Stop blowing it! Don't move! Move it! Move it! Move it! Move it! Elders, we cannot just sit. And fold our hands while we watch. We have to do something so that we don't attract the wrath of the gods. Oh no, you are very correct. But the question for urgent answer or begging for urgent answer is what do we do? I think we should go to any of the kingdom with a very good seer and consult the gods. Mm -hmm. You have a good point there. But we should first inform the police officially before going to consult the gods. Let me answer this call. Hello? Oh no, I greet you. Fr Princess Adora, how are you? How do you mean all is not well? And why are you crying? Oh no, the worst has happened. What? W what happened? They have kidnapped my brother, Prince Onyeka. What? May the gods forbid. I can't really explain. All I know is that he left the palace about two hours ago to see his friend. 
And, and uh, how did you get the information? I received a call from an unknown caller who, who told me that they have prints in their custody. Oh, please do me this favor. Could you forward that same number that called you to me immediately? The number was not displayed. The person hides the number. Okay, I, I will call I will call you back. Don't worry, I will get back to you. Did he say anything in the matter? No. Who is that? That what's up? Hey guys. Yes, yeah, so that is a problem. What's the problem? What is the problem? That is a problem. What, 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 what is the problem? Prisoner has been kidnapped. What? What was that problem? How did it happen? How could you accuse the crown prince of kidnapping his own brother? DPU, I know exactly what I am saying. He did it. Uh, but, my princess, I'm not really convinced. DPU, Prince Ozodima threatened to go to any length to stop Prince Onyeka from becoming the king, and now Prince Onyeka is being kidnapped. But, my princess, we don't really have any evidence here. <sighs> DPO, do you need a soothsayer to tell you that he did it? My princess, this is so hard. But what do you want? Please, send in your boys to the palace to pick him up. Before he runs away. Alright, I'm ready. Thank you very much, I'll be waiting. Thank you. Okay. Uncle. I didn't just accuse him. I am very sure he did that. Adora, how can you say such a thing about your own brother, my husband? You know he is not capable of doing that. Your husband made it very clear that he does not want Prince Onyeka to be king. He said he would go to any length to stop him. Is it not obvious that he kidnapped him just to stop him? Huh? You are not so sure. What if someone else is responsible? I don't believe that. <sighs> You are a miracle worker. Come and do your miracle, your miracle today. Come and do your miracle, your miracle today. In Jesus' name, in the mighty name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, I worship your holy name. I glorify your name because you are God from beginning till the end. Father, who is that man that will speak when you've not spoken, O oh God? Jehovah, I plead, I've come before you, O oh God, because you are the only man I have, Jehovah. Please come and set my husband free for me in the name of Jesus. Wherever they have gathered against him, O oh Jehovah, Father, set them ablaze. Father, scatter them. Destroy them in the name of Jesus. For that you said they must gather. But because the gathering is not of you, oh God, they must scatter. Father, scatter them right now. Whoever it is has plotted this evil against my husband, oh God. Father, destroy. Show them that you are my God. Show them that you are the God that I serve. Jehovah, release my husband for me right now in the name of Jesus. Release my husband, oh God, in the name of Jesus. I know you can do it because you've done it before and you will do it again. You are the God of yesterday, today and tomorrow. Father, show yourself for me. Show yourself for me. Show yourself for me. In the name of Jesus, heaven hear my voice, O God. For I know that you said, whatever I ask, O God, you shall give to me. You said, whatever I bind on earth is bound in heaven, O God. Jehovah, answer for me. Release my husband for me in the name of Jesus. Oh. 
Don't come. I need you to believe me. Why would I want to do something like that to my brother? Why? Would I want to kidnap my only brother? I did not do it. Mm. I am trying hard to believe you. But the circumstances surrounding the whole thing makes it difficult for me to believe you. I swear to you. I swear to you in the name of God. Mm. And everything that I hold sacred, uncle, I am innocent. Did you at any time threaten him to stop him from becoming a king at all cost? Did you? Well, yes. I said something like that, but I, I did not mean it that way. Mm -hmm. I, I, there was nothing to it. You know, just brothers arguing. That's, that's all. Okay, time up. Please do. I don't have time. You have to get out of this place. This place is not nice. Please. Mm. Okay. This is unbelievable. How could Prince Ozodima do such a thing to his own blood brother? No. Pastor, he didn't do it. He told me. And I believe him. And what did the police say? They said he'll remain in their custody until they are done with the investigation. What kind of temptation is this? Uh, um, uh, I think uh, if you take all this matter to court. Pastor, I'm confused. I don't know what to do. No, Pastor, you, please, I need your help. No, relax, relax. You don't need to be confused. Hmm? I need to be confused. No, you're not saying anything. Talk to me. Hmm. Indeed, that young man is a ritualist. Eh? In fact, what Prince Oyeka's friend said here the other day, he came. They are all true. But my husband, how did you arrive at this conclusion? Have you forgotten that I told you that I was going to investigate the matter? Yes, you did. Good. Mm -hmm. All my sources told me the same thing that young man said the other day he came here. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> really? Of course. Hey! Hey! Eh? Thank God for this revelation. My husband, <laughs> have you seen how you would have led our daughter to her death? All in the name of getting married to a wealthy man that promised to change your status. If you go near, or if you Eh? What type what of irrelevant that? question is that? I said, what type of irrelevant question is that? Did I not tell you that our daughter will never marry a ritualist? That's ritualist Michael of a person, or what we call it. We never marry our daughter. Over my dead body for that to happen. Instead, let him go and look for his fellow ritualist to marry. Not my daughter. Not my own daughter. Not when I'm still alive. Rubbish. Hey! It can never happen. Wow. This thing beats me. I can't imagine what is it. I'm confused. How long? No, no. Let, let me ask you, Chilaka. Hmm. Did you make sense from what the great Dibia Ayon told us at this time? It's over. It beats me. How could he tell us that the gods have taken care of everything? When the prince and Dikoha are missing. Does it mean that the gods are happy that 
Both of them are missing? I am very confused myself. So what do we do now? I don't know. I, I, we, we travel all the way from our kingdom to come and see him. And he could not give us solution. Okay. Do you know what? Let us go back to our kingdom and report it to the Onowu and the other elders. Maybe they don't know what to do. Let us go. <laughs> Send down your power, oh, I pray thee, O oh Lord. Send down your Holy Ghost, I say, Amen. Release anointing, I pray thee, O oh Lord. Father, send down your Holy Ghost, I say, Amen. Send down your power, oh, I pray thee, O oh Lord. Send down your Holy Ghost, I say, Amen. Release anointing, I pray thee, O oh Lord. Father, send down your Holy Ghost, I say, Amen. Send down your power, oh, I pray thee, O oh Lord. Send down your Holy Ghost, I say, Amen. Release anointing, I pray thee, O oh Lord. Father, send down, Father, please send down your fire. Send down your power, oh God, Jehovah. Please send down your power to go and release my husband. Jehovah, I know that you will do this for me. There is nothing you cannot do, oh God. Jehovah, I pray that you go and bring my husband out for me in the name of Jesus. Go and bring my husband out for me in the name of Jesus. Father, you see my sins or the sins of my husband. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy. Have mercy and bring my husband out for me, Jehovah. Have mercy and bring my husband out for me, oh God. Bring my husband out for me in the name name of Jesus. Bring him out for me, oh God. Jehovah, you are my only hope. You are my only hope. Show yourself for me, oh God. Show yourself for me. Come through for me, God. Please release my husband for me. Release my husband for me, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Why did you ask me to meet you at this lonely and dangerous place? Who are you? And how did you get my number? I remember warning you not to come with the police or any other person if you really want your brother alive. Why did you come with someone? No. I am here alone. I'm not with anyone. Are you sure? Yes, I have no reason to lie to you. I am no. alone. Your brother, Prince Onyeka, and Diko had the chief priest are safe with us. You have my brother with you? Yes, they are very safe. Oh, please, whatever you want, I will provide them for you. Just release them to me, please. Princess. I don't need anything from you. I kidnapped them just to protect them from death. Someone very close to you wants them dead by all means. I decided to keep them alive for a reason. For a reason? Yes. Why did you decide to keep them alive? To expose the evil in the land of Obama in your Google Kingdom. Put your hands in the air! And why? Why, princess? Chief Udemba, with all the evidence on the ground, 
against you. Do you still want to deny the fact that you sent those boys to kidnap Prince Onyeka and Dikoa? Or are you ready to tell me the truth? I am just being lenient because of your position as a high chief. But I tell you something. I will not hesitate to order my boys to deal with you and squeeze the truth out So I ask you for the last time, are you ready to tell me the truth or should I do it the hard way? Yes, 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 I'm ready. I'm ready to. Tell you the truth. I sent them. I sent the boys to kidnap the prince and the girl. Chief, why keep me waiting? You Some... gave me an appointment and you couldn't keep to your time. Something came up. I had to attend to it. But finally, I am here. So... Chief, please, may this not happen next time. Sly, I have told you it will not happen again. I am sorry. Straight to the point. <laughs> what brought you here? What do you want me to do for you? I want you to kidnap Dikoa for me. What? Did I hear you well, Chief? You heard me very clearly. Chief, do you realize the person we are talking about here? <laughs> do you realize that it is the chief priest of this land, Dikoha, that you want me to kidnap for you, Chief? Yes, I know Dikoha is a very powerful man. That's why I chose you to be the one that will kidnap him for me. See, when you want to carry out this operation, don't go to his shrine because it will be needless. If you go to his shrine to kidnap him, you will not succeed. So go straight to his house where he will be powerless. Then you kidnap him and bring him. Chief, why do you want him kidnapped? Diko has been a clog in the will of my progress. He doesn't want me to succeed. So, how did he go? It was very successful, Chief. Hey, I hope no one noticed you people. <laughs> Chief, I am a professional. I Sly know. doesn't do dirty jobs. I know. Chief, tell me, hmm. what do you want me to do with him? Keep him. Don't harm him. Why? I will tell you when I need him. There is one more job I want you to do for me. Kidnap Prisonyeka for me. Chief? The late king was your very own brother. Yes. And everyone knows the relationship you had with him. Good. While you he are, was alive. You are correct. Why do you want his son, your own blood, kidnapped? The late king was my bro my brother, my beloved brother. Onyeka is also my own blood. But nobody, I repeat, nobody stands on my way and goes for free.
interesting. Why did you order their kidnap? I wanted to become the king. But two of them were standing on my way. And there is no way I would achieve my long time desire with both of them still around. How do you mean? Tell me more. I used charm on Prince Uzadima to make him reject the offer of becoming the king. Having achieved that, I was a Expecting that I will be crowned the king. And out of the blues, Prince Onyeka surfaced and accepted to perform the rites that will see him become the king. And the chief priest was supporting him. There is no way I will achieve my aim with their taking two of them out of my way. Please, officer, forgive me. I'm so sorry. Tamper justice with mercy, please. Tell that to the chief judge when you stand before him in the law court. The law! must take its course. Life is full of mysteries. Life is full of, you know, surprises. To think that in this family, we've always looked at Uncle Udemba as the one who's with us, you know, through it all. Little did we know that he was the one killing us. Slowly. I am completely speechless. I, I really don't know what to say. Onyaka, I get it. <laughs> I know exactly how you feel. But let's be thankful that things played out this way. Now we see him for who he is. Huh? It's fine, man. Uh, I believe that the worst is over. Adora, you were fantastic. I think that we owe you a lot as a matter of fact. We owe you a lot. Thank you for all that you did. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. I mean, I am so happy to have you. Um, you don't have to thank me for doing what I am blessing you to do. Thank you for covering up or exposing the evil woman here, even the dangerous. Well, at this point, <coughs> I want to ask a very serious question. Yes. Prince Odema, are you now going to do the needful? by going ahead to perform the ritual, the ritual process that will lead to your coronation and the of this great kingdom. Uh, oh, sorry, or are you, are you going to maintain your stand as a Christian like you have always done? <laughs> no, well, let, me, let, me, let me cut you short. Uh, my brother once indicated interest in becoming the king of this land, so let's confirm with Onyeka. Onyeka, are you still interested? Uh, I decided to do it because you refused to do it. I did not want the throne to leave our family. Neither did I want us to suffer the consequences thereafter. Mm. If you're ready to do the needful, why not? I'll give you all my maximum support. Okay. Dalo. Hmm? <laughs> uh, oh no. It is time to do the needful. Uh, get the elders together, tell them to begin preparations for the traditional ritual. Oh, I, I have to do that which uh, tradition demands of me as the crown prince. Eh? May the God be praised. Yes. <laughs> oh, I'm happy and um, I want to say congratulations to all of you for everything. 
and that would uh, well, let me let me see. You said you had something very important to tell me. Yes, my prince. I do. Alright. I'm all ears. Um, please. First of all, I, I really want to apologize for the way my father has been treating you. It was so unfair. I, I just wish you would find a way in your heart to forgive him. Please. Just forgive and forget. I, I, I am not angry with your father. As a matter of fact, as a father, he has the right not to give me his daughter's hands in marriage. However, I would have been happy if he had granted my request. Um, well, um, your request has been granted. <laughs> yes. <laughs> In fact, we can commence our traditional rites immediately. Are you serious? Yes. Yes, my friend. He granted? Yes. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh. This is the good news. It is. <laughs> she might love you, right? And I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> Our tradition is sacred and harmless. It's there for the welfare of the people. My people! Behold our new king! King! Who's our demo? The enemy! Of Obama in your Google Kingdom. Igwe. Our prayer for him is that his reign will be long. May he live longer than his father. Yes. May his reign bring peace, love, unity, justice, and progress to the kingdom of Obama in your Google. He said, Shall we now proceed to where Ichie Ibe and Ichie Uba are waiting with our people for the merriment? Igwe! Addiction of our people I'm 